on top, you wanted me to put a watch in the safe. And of course, I mean, I'm nosy. I went online and I Googled the watch. And I remember like sending my sister a text saying, I just put a watch in the safe for my boss and it was $80,000. <laughs> and <laughs> I like watches too, but I don't have those kind of watches. <laughs> The amount of jewelry was in excess of $3 million. They bought so many watches from DeVool that when I went to get their records, they were like, actually, we still have two watches in the vault that they never picked up. So it's like $100,000 they just left sitting in the safe at DeVool for multiple years. Some of the things that you saw that they had bought was just crazy. His main home here in Corsicana, I think, comes out a little bit less than $200,000 in appraised value. But his New Mexico home was worth three quarters of a million dollars. Kay bought a Jaguar, a new Jaguar. They had many, many Lexus, Mercedes. Sandy and Kay Jenkins spent approximately $2 million at Sewell Lexus. The joke that I heard from the Sewell employees was that uh, they bought cars as frequently as people get oil changes. Sandy had this plane that he would take almost every weekend. He would fly somewhere, and it cost him $50,000. That jet probably has $20,000 worth of fuel costs that comes with it. They were flying everywhere, going to the Caribbean, going to Napa Valley all the time. Went to Napa Valley to buy all that wine, cases of it, and bring it back. They actually uh, hired a private jet to fly them from Corsicana to Austin to go to lunch. <laughs> so it was like an $8,000 lunch. So they flew 223 times over, I think, a 10-year period. So they spent $3.2 million on private jets. And then we found out about their nicknames with Neiman Marcus. Fruitcake and I think cupcake or something like that, yeah. Nicknames. I mean, that's... That's amazing. Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton. Purses and all her furs. One thing that I learned from interviewing the personal shopper there was that at one point she just ran out of things to sell them, which I thought was pretty hard to do at Neiman Marcus. <laughs> they spent $11 million on the Black Amex over an eight-year period. I think it was like $120,000 a month whereas Sandy was making $50,000 a year. Because how Sandy spent money, I remember asking someone, are you sure, you know, he didn't win the lottery? We often scratched our head about how this, how was he financing these junkets off in the jet? We just never could figure it out. He asked me one time if my husband and I would like to uh, split a villa with him in Italy. I said, I work for Collins Street Bakery, and I can't afford that. The thing that probably should have just struck a note was that if you're a guy that's making, you know, $50,000 a year and taking $25,000 a week trips out to Napa Valley, why would you even want to continue to come into the office 